What's going on YouTube? It's Jay Penify with another Cartoon Cyborg Streamlabs. And in this episode, I'm coloring the Owl Turtle Pimp. Uh, I, I was trying some new techniques with the shading in this. Uh, I'm trying to mainly, instead of just have a different shade for the color, I'm also changing the value of the color itself. So um, they're, they're actually different colors for the shading. Uh, it's not just a darker version. So if you look at the neck, the pink on the neck, uh, the, the shading for the pink is yellow. So there's drastic color changes. And it made it kind of confusing, but it also taught me a good amount about the way colors play with each other. It, this is actually, I think, the first time I've ever animated someone with lighting that is head-on like a spotlight on them. So it was a it was a it was a real learning experience for me. Um, okay, so there are two different kinds of drawing settings in Flash, and they act like different objects within the stage, and that's really really useful for coloring. The different types are called line and fill. And essentially when you're using the brush tool, you're creating fill type lines. And when you're using the pen tool or the pencil tool or the line tool, you're creating line lines. Um, and why this is useful is because you can just do all your line work using the brush tool and then go back over it using the pen tool or the pencil tool or the line tool and you can draw lines that correspond with your brush lines and then since they act like different objects you can fill in like I'm doing here all of the all of the colors that you want to fill in and the shading and you can separate colors within the characters because they're two different types of objects and then you can click a button in the keyframe section of the timeline called edit multiple frames and select all the frames at once and then where you designate the color for the pen tool you just click no color no outline and all of the all of the pen tool and line tool all of the lines they just go away and you're left with fills, which is your completed image. And you can keep doing this and keep adding lines and deleting them. And keep It's just it's super useful for coloring. Yeah, that's something I learned recently and I, I've been using Flash forever and I just finally learned, oh, you can, you can delete all of your line tool lines in one click rather than going to each frame individually. So essentially I could just save myself hours and hours and hours of work, just monotonous, pointless work, doing one simple task by doing one little thing. And so I, I think that's the thing I want to focus on in this episode is just you can, you can get rid of your fucking line tools in one click using the edit multiple frames button and that is located on your timeline to the right of your onion skin. And, and I'm using Flash CS3 so that's actually valid on every flash version. Um, later on in the animation, I take the character and I copy all the frames for the colors and I put them on another layer and I change that layer into a mask layer and then underneath that layer I put a gradient and then I alpha that layer and this is just to add a color fade to the character and the reason that the owl is purple here is because that entire purple area is, is where the mask is. And uh, it really gives you control of what kind of colors are bouncing off your character. Rather than just uh, two colors per shading, you can have a bunch of different colors for your shading. Um, that's all I really got, so could you please go to my Patreon account, give me a dollar, and pass it on to your friend, tell him to give me a dollar patreon.com slash jae penta5 and um, you can follow me on twitter find out when i'm streaming at twitter.com slash jarrett riley i don't know guys thank you for joining me i mean shit 
sorry I've been gone so long. Been dealing with a lot of crap. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this episode of Plunger Dog. I'm over halfway done with it and should should turn out good. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Give me give me some questions. Give me some more questions. I forgot what questions I had to answer. It's been it's been literal months since I've done Streamlabs. And I apologize for that. I'm gonna try to get back into doing it a few times a week so that I can motivate myself to animate. Uh, I hope I hope you learned something. I hope if you didn't learn something, I hope you can tell someone something to learn. I don't know. Go to my YouTube. Be a, be a subscriber. Thank you. Fuck, that was a shitty streamlapse. I did a bad job. Dick butt. <laughs>